I interviewed a millionaire named Scott Frazier. He is a family friend of ours, and he got his wealth from owning a business and then selling it. And then after that, just investing in other businesses um, and investing in stocks and everything like that. Um, so I was able to talk to him and kind of pick his brain about a couple of things. Um, I think my biggest takeaways from this interview were, <clears throat> I asked him if he, with his knowledge that he has now, if he could go back in time and change anything or do anything differently, he said that after selling his first business um, and kind of getting that lump sum of money, he would continue to work. He would have continued to work is what he said. Um, because what happened was after he sold his first business, he he moved with his family to Utah and thought, well, I have money now. I don't really need to work. And he said that it kind of slowed him down in a lot of ways. It, it slowed him down mentally, physically, and emotionally. And he also said that it kind of set a bad example for his children of being lazy and not working. I mean, I think that they knew that he he had all this money, but it still they were still probably young enough um, to the point where they didn't really understand that that dads normally go out and work. I don't know. Anyway, so he said that that's a, that's probably his biggest regret, something that he he would have changed if he could. Um, he regrets not. He regrets kind of going from full-time to part-time and going into semi-retirement while he was really young. Um, so anyway, he what he's done now, he is, I think he said he is like 65 years old now. And <clears throat> he has started to work again and is kind of making up for those lost opportunities. Um, so he's planning on working full-time until he retires, um, until he physically can't work anymore because it's just helped him um, kind of stay on top of his game. And so I really liked that, what he said. Another takeaway that I had was <clears throat> that um, let's see, so he he said that for for me personally, I asked him like what advice he had for me as a college student, as someone that doesn't have a business of their own quite yet. He said to get like a, a part-time job in a company that is just starting in a really exciting and fun environment where um, yeah, I can just enjoy myself and have fun. And he said that I would be able to find a lot of entrepreneurial opportunities. Um, <clears throat> and that's kind of what he did. That's what started this whole thing off. And that's probably, those are probably the most, um, I don't know, the most meaningful things that I got out of this interview. And one last thing that he said was that he's noticed that divorce rates are a lot higher with successful entrepreneurs. Um, they kind of get to the point where they're, they go to work and they're running this business, they're in charge of other people, they're telling other people what to do, and they kind of get caught up in their own heads. And when they go, and when they go home, after the, at the end of the day, they kind of bring all of that with them into their home and they aren't like a very enjoyable person to be around. And he's noticed that like divorce rates here in Utah aren't super big, I guess, but um, with successful entrepreneurs, they are substantially larger. 
So I thought that was interesting. Um, it made me think about like if I ever run a business myself personally, I want to make sure that my family is the top priority. Um, anyway, that is those are my takeaways from my interview with a millionaire.